Hello there. Today we are going to be downloading the TCGA histopathology slide image data set from the Genomic Data Commons data portal. And we're going to be able to use this data set in our downstream machine learning projects to do things like predict uh, cancer types, predict stages, um, predict patient outcomes, and things like that. So we're on the Genomic Data Commons data portal page. We go to repository. There are diagnostic slides under the experimental strategy that we check the box on. We want some breast cancer cases specifically, so let's go up to cases, primary site, go to selection view, and then we'll uh, open 63 more. We see there's breast on there, so we click that. We'll pull that back up. Scroll down here, and if you just want to subset like what I want today and all of them, you can just click on this cart button next to them. So I selected three to put in the cart. Um, if you wanted all of the data, you could just download this manifest file here, and that'll help in the next step. But we just want the three files, so let's just go up to the cart, and we see that the three files are in here. So we'll just download this cart button and we'll go download manifest. Now that'll save to the downloads. And then we want to go back and select the clinical data. So if we go back, we'll still have breast as the primary site, but instead of the diagnostic slides, we're going to go down to data category, select clinical, and then we will go down to data format and select BCR XML. Now these files should have the clinical data that we're looking for, like the uh, staging information and the, a lot of other useful labels. So it would be difficult to associate, a grab, go through and grab the right files for those slides. We'll just download all of them. We'll download the manifest here save to downloads, and then what we'll end up doing later on is merging all of those XML files together um, after we load them into a pandas data frame, and it'll make it a lot easier for us to just sort through them and match them up with the three slide files or slide selection that we have. So we'll go to Finder, and we see that these manifest files are text files, and they'll just be listing um, information in a tab delimited way where we have the, um, the information that the GDC download tool is going to be using. So we need to download that tool. We'll go to GDC apps at the top and go to data transfer tool. We'll need to download the tool, so we have to make sure that the binary distribution is matched to our system. Let's go to the uh, transfer tool page. Scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to choose the silicon processor Mac. Download that. Once that is downloaded, then you'll unzip it and drag it over to somewhere it makes sense. So I'll put it in my bin in my home folder. Um, you can, if you're on a Mac, copy as path name, which makes it really easy to put into the bash profile. Open up the terminal. Uh, use the nano text editor to edit your bash profile. And then I've already got it copied in here like this. So export path equals path, user slash AMC slash bin. So that's my parent folder that the GDC client is going to be in. So I exit out of that and save it. And then I can source that file. And that's just gonna, you could either do that or just exit out and reopen the terminal. It kind of restarts it, it runs all the things that are in it. So basically what we told it to do is just check the bin file uh, for any programs. Now that we have that in there, we can use the GDC command line tool by just doing a 
GDC client. The first time you run it, Mac is going to not like it. So then you can go to this button and done open privacy and security settings. Scroll to the bottom. You'll see GDC client was blocked. Allow anyway. Exit out and run the command again. Open anyway. Enter your password. <laughs> and it should finally run. And there it is. It's done some things. That's what we expected. So we are happy. Okay. To use this tool, we'll copy this command right here, which has a GDC client, which is the program we're calling the command, which is download dash M for manifest file. And then here's going to be the path to our manifest file. But I want to make sure that they're all sequestered within the same folder. So I'm going to navigate to my downloads folder. And I'm going to make a new directory called slides. I'm going to go into that directory. And this is where I'm going to download the slides to. So we'll go and paste our command in, but we're going to replace this manifest file path with our manifest file path. Right there. And then we'll download that. So it's going to look up the information from the manifest file so that it knows exactly which files to download. And it is now downloading those to my slides directory. So if I pull up that directory, see in my downloads folder, there's a folder called slides. And in that folder is, well, will be all of these subfolders, which if you pull them down, they'll have these SBS files in them. So while the other three are downloading, it'll just continue doing that. I can pull out QPath. And we can take a look at this image. Hypothetically. All we have to do is just drag and drop it into the QPath window. And here we go. And we can zoom in using the scroll bar or scroll wheel. And we can see all of these cool cells. And we have successfully downloaded TCGA slide images. Now, once that gets done, you can go back and download your other manifest file, which is going to have your clinical data in it. And that's going to take a while to download if you have selected all 1,000 slides, um, but eventually it'll finish and you can make a script to extract what you need out of those files. Uh, I believe pandas has a from XML uh, method. So feel free to use that. And that is how you download slides from TCGA.